Just take your time. Okay, there you go, and then from there I'm just gonna start making the the darkest value again from dark to light like I always like to, to do it and little by little just add a little, little bit of pressure right here when, you, when you're getting to the end so that way it could blend Try to blend, try your best to blend it and just take your time, don't go too fast. And then I'm gonna go in my black right now. This is the blackest, the, the darkest shadow that I see right here. Right on the bottom of the ball. Right on the bottom of the ball. See, now it actually looks like a like a 3D object that you could just grab it from your screen <laughs> and then just carry that ball in your hand. Now, now what you could do after that, if you want to leave it black and white, it's, it's good. But if you want to change the color, that's what you do. You go back to the to the ball color, the the ball. See the ball. And you could just, what I do, just remember, just hold control, the control button. You're gonna see the little square. You click it. When you click it, it's already highlighted. Remember, just click H to hide it, and the object still selected. So you, here are some ways that you could do it. Like um, you can go to Image to start coloring it. Well, it's already it's already rendered, so all you gotta do is just add the color. You go to Hue and Saturation, and then you could go and then just click right here, Colorize. And then you can start choosing whatever color you want, green, blue, bluish. I like this bluish color right here. And if and if you want to make it a little bit more more darker or more more bluish, just you can just mess around with the saturation right here. If you go too much, it's gonna look weird, see? So just play around with that. And just play around with this light. Let's say like that's cool. It's blue. And there's the, the lighting. You go all the way down, it, it just turns pitch black. When you go back to zero, you just click zero. It says how, how you left it. And if you go all the way white, the, the whole thing just turns white. You see? So I always leave it at zero because I, I already. I was already satisfied how, how I already rendered it from, from, from the shading. So that's one way you want to do it. Second way is just make another layer and you go to overlay. When you have it overlay, what I like to do is just get the paint bucket tool and then these are the colors right here. Or you could just make your own, like you could just go right here and then you could just select any color you want. Let's say a dark green and then you just see so have a uh, Dark green ball, you don't like a, if it's too dark, just go a little bit higher. Let's see, it gets a little bit lighter green. Or if you have some colors right here that you, that you save, like right here in your palettes, it's good. Uh, let's say, um, let's say purple, I like purple. So there's a purple ball, it looks nice. And right here, you can play around with these, um, with these options that, you, that, that they give you, like darken, just click down, multiply, color burn, linear burn, darken color, lighting, screen, um, color dodge, linear dodge, lighter color, overlay, which is this is always the best one for me. Soft light, that one is kind of cool too. See, soft light, yeah, soft light fits good on on this. Actually, it was better than, than overlay. 
So like I said, you just just play around with it. Just play around with these blenders or these uh, or these um options that they give you right here. But yeah, I just keep it at a soft light. But yeah, guys, um, that's the end of this tutorial, and hopefully I'll, I'll do another one this week. But yeah, let me know. Let me know what type of tutorials y'all want. If it's okay or, or I don't know. Just let me know in the comments. Let's add a table like a surface. Uh, let's get a. Let's get a. I don't know. Like this brown. And what I like to do to make a straight line is you hold shift, hold shift, but make sure it's um. Make sure you deselect the the layer, right? The, the object. So that way, you, you can color what's in the background. What I like to do is just click and hold shift, and then you just get a straight line. You see? And from right there, you could just start, just color it out. It looks a bit weird, but. You can just do this same thing. Select it, get the paint bucket tool, and let's go with this gray right here. And there you go. A little bit darker one. Yeah, that one. Why not? And in the background, let's get a gradient. I don't know. Um, Try blue. Look if it's outside the window, like the windows right there. I don't know something like that. Let's go this way. Yeah, like that. Whatever, you know. Just, just play around with it, guys. Like I said, just um. This is important these um these color pads right here from black to white. But yeah guys that's that's it and then like I said just let me know in the comments below what y'all what y'all wanna learn. I really wanna at least um communicate with y'all at least let me know what, what y'all wanna see. Besides just me just doing regular speed paintings like every week. If you wanna see some 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 tutorials of me talking about some certain things that other artists don't talk about, just let me know. And I'll, and I'll and I'll for sure um answer your 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 question. I always answer everybody's questions on either um, you can message me or or every comment I always reply back. But just let me know. I don't have that many subscribers, so I cannot. There's no need for me to make an excuse saying, oh, you know what? I have like over 10,000 subscribers. I can't keep up with every single comment. But yeah, just 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 let me know, all right? Just let me know in the comment what y'all want to see. But yeah, guys. This is artistic and I'm out and thanks for watching. Peace.